We averted a disaster for now. But most Americans are still worried, as are people around the world, about a recession that could be coming, and likely it will. But with that comes interest in gold. And it's there, and I'm going to prove it to you in this video, as we explore. With all this talk about cryptocurrencies and other investments and ways to protect yourself, well, what happens when the stock market takes a massive dump like we just saw recently? People flock to the dollar. That's just a natural knee-jerk reaction. There's no question about it. That is not going to change if it happens again. That's right. People will get out of all the commodity sector and they will go back to the dollar. That is in paper form, in digital form. But what about the physical? Well, there is something different there. Because since we saw that big uh, drop in the stock market, well, there's been a lot of searches for gold on Google. I'm going to be reporting from an article from Fenbold that discusses some of this. We've seen that gold has been a particularly interesting asset since the start of 2024. Thanks to its strong rally to a new all-time highs and forecasts predicting it could rise to and even beyond $3,000 an ounce. It wasn't that long ago when that kind of forecast was seen as relatively crazy. Now it's out of the realm of possibility. Now it's in the within the realm of possibility. And most people, including myself, think that we're going to see $2,500 gold pretty soon, even with some of the pullbacks that we've been witnessing. Um, and the commodity reached another level, this height at the beginning of August, and then the market uh, took a big dump. Indeed, Finbold's research found that between July 31st and the pre-market on August the 6th, interest in the buy gold search term rocketed 63.93% from 61 to 100 on Google Trends. The figure is also substantially higher than at any other time during the period under review which covers the 90 days between May 6th and August 6th of 2024. Such a rapid increase in curiosity uh, about investing in bullion can be linked to a recession panic that started with the F Federal Open Market Committee meeting in the last two days of July and was reinforced by the jobs report on Friday, October, or Friday, August the 2nd. And so it is remarkable to see how much an interest has, has, has peaked here for now gold in these searches in the past 90 days. Now, it's not to say that, um, that gold is the top search in Google Trends. It's just the rapid from the, their scale of 61 to 100 or 62 to 100. That is the difference that we saw from that. And, of course, it was somewhat of a low period because it is oscillate up and down a bit, you know, ranging anywhere from – below 50 to um, uh, just about 75 uh, at its top that we've seen before that. But now it's moved way up to 100. And, I'll, and referencing a previous report uh, where interest of buy gold and Google search by state and backs up when, uh, a video that I did fairly recently about who is searching for, uh, for gold you know, in the, on the Internet and Hawaii is first. And that's where it is. Hawaii and then Alaska is, is second. It's interesting, the non-continental states. And then Wyoming is third. West Virginia, fourth. And uh, going all the way down to California being the tenth there. Uh, from uh, And that's still very strong, 79. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Why is fear driving investors, though, to, to gold? A major reason for the rocketing interest in the search term to buy gold is the precious metals role as a safe haven for wealth in times of crisis. And you're seeing more and more ads from uh, some companies wanting you to buy gold. Of course, you got to be very careful with those ads on radio and television. Be very, very careful with those. But it is sparking interest. People are looking into it. They're, they're, re they're doing their research. And there's a lot of sources out there, a lot of resources, not only on the inter inter Internet in print form or in written form, but also in video form. Channels like this one you're watching right now and other examples of a great source of education uh, for precious metals. And most of us in this community, we don't have agendas 
uh, other than just getting, wanting to get the news about gold and, and being fans of gold and silver as a hedge against economic instability. As sound money is referenced in the Constitution, Article 1, Section 10, you know, that's really what it's about. It's about uh, fiscal discipline, and it's about responsibility and understanding uh, the history of money. And when you get into the history of money, you will see how big of a role gold plays in that history through the course of time. The reputation is further reinforced by gold's being a tangible asset in finite supply. That's right. It is going, it will run out eventually. And one that is even harder to extract as more reserves get depleted and therefore uh, not susceptible to inflation in the way most other currencies and assets are. And by the way, one can make a cogent argument for gold inflation during the gold rushes that we've seen through the course of our history, mostly since the last 160, 170 years. Uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing to see how much gold has been found since then, especially since the 1900s. It, gold is still mostly used as an investment vehicle, but there is some um, use that it has in, in industry, in science and technology. It's a key, it is also a key component in jewelry and other pres prestigious items. It's a status symbol, right? We see that a lot from the gold credit cards we have to the gold standard in, in this industry or that science or what have you. Uh, it's, it's a measure of, of, of a standard of excellence and purity. Gold is an amazing metal, no question about it. Uh, while such an industrial use has helped drive gold's rally to some degree, it also presents a risk to its stability should the manufacturing demand for the metal dwindle due to a bubble bursting or an alternate being funded. The price of the commodity could also diminish, but only slightly because why central banks around the world have been accumulating it. And that's part of what probably people are saying. If central banks are doing it, well, we should be too. You've heard me say on this channel, be your own central bank. And it's really what it's about. The central banks are smart. They are buying and, and, and stockpiling gold. And I think really we should as well. Even if it's small as a little tenth ounce gold eagle like what you see here. I think it's a good idea to have some of it in your portfolio as a protection against economic insanity. Especially now considering that the gold's price has pulled back somewhat. And also premiums have scaled back as well. Because there's not as many people buying at this point in time. I think there's a growing number of people interested in it. Considering the Google search results that we've been talking about here. But it's something. Uh, for sure. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and we are seeing cracks in the economy. Now, we know uh, what could happen down the road, but when we see here that reveal that the U.S. economy had created approximately 60,000 fewer jobs than anticipated, it led to this massive daily and extended session sell-off that affected stocks and cryptocurrency markets alike as well as the commodity sector. That included gold and silver because people panicked and went to the dollar. But one thing we know for sure is that, uh, you know, the chefs at the Cook the Books Club are going to try to make things seem like they're better than they are. But in reality, there's been some trouble brewing for quite some time. The markets are now showing signs of weakness, and, um, and that could reestablish itself and insert itself again and very soon. So keep that in mind. And I think people know that deep down. So in the end, gold is the ultimate safe haven, even more so than silver, I feel. Silver is a bit more volatile because it is seen more as a metal that fluctuates in price. And I think some people see that. People buy silver in, in some sense as an opportunity uh, to maybe do very well if they buy it at a dip. Uh, it will preserve your wealth like, like gold will, but it takes a lot longer. I think this is one of the reasons why Google is seeing a, a massive increase in search terms for buy gold rather than buy silver. And it's something that I took note of and really kind of changed my focus around 2017 and started focusing more on gold for precisely that reason. But it's not that there's anything wrong with stacking silver either. But uh, there you have it. So uh, fascinating. So we're doing the right thing. And I think more people want to do the right thing. Hopefully they will come upon channels like this and learn more about gold and why it's important to have it in your portfolio. Because one thing is for sure, dollars will eventually die. Um, and I know that sounds very uh, 
doom and gloom or apocalyptic, but all fiat currencies eventually, they do die. The dollar is not immune from that kind of thing happening. I think this is why the powers that be are working right now to reestablish or reset a currency. In other words, create a new dollar. Um, and then the old dollar is gone. But when you think about it, uh, in a sense, the dollar, when it was tied to gold and silver, died ultimately in 1971 when Nixon closed the window to gold and where it was backed by absolutely nothing. The Bretton Woods Agreement ended at that point in time and uh, there was no tie back to gold. So we've been living under pure fiat currency ever since and we're still in that world. And really it's about time for it to be reset. And in the wake of that, it could be very bad uh, for those who are holding dollars. If you hold gold, though, you're going to be okay. No question about it, because it cannot be inflated. It can only be mined, and uh, that takes a lot of time and energy and cost. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.